Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Exist. Exist plays from four or more players, 17 and up, and about 45 minutes to an hour to play the game. In the game Exist, you're basically going to be choosing a supreme decider, and they're going to be drawing cards from three decks, wilds, opponents, and locations, in which to make a scenario you, you need to survive in. Every other player is going to get a hand of resource cards that you'll be choosing one of and putting down face down the middle of the table much like other judging games in which the supreme decider is going to shuffle them all up lay them all out and then decide based on what is available to them which one would help survive the specific scenario the player whose card is chosen is going to score an opponent card for that specific round and if somebody gathers five opponent cards they're going to win the specific uh, they're going to win the specific specific game however you can kind of choose to include more or less depending on the length of game that you would like to play the next player going clockwise will be the new supreme decider Cider, and a new scenario is going to be drawn at random with the three cards and players are going to get once again draw cards from the resource deck to supply their hand to the full seven and play again and the game will continue that's the basic idea you must try to survive as best as possible it's going to be a lot of social actions in the game there's going to be a lot of table talk as to what you want to do what you don't want to do based on the scenario based on the different resources you have but that is the basic premise of the game exists can you let's go ahead and find out down below I'll show you all the components and then I'll show you how to play. So here we have the game Exist and everything you're going to get in it included with the rules, the box over there, and the Supreme Decider card. You're going to be getting three decks of Exist resources and then you're going to get one of each of these boxes for the wilds, your opponents, and the locations of the scenario. In which case, you're going to take them out of these boxes and then you're going to get the decks of cards here. That is pretty much what you're going to be getting in the game. Each of the Exist packs are going to have different types of cards so they're all very unique and very different in their own way and you're going to take all of these cards and you're going to shuffle them up so that they are completely random after that you're going to then have one of the players become the supreme decider and you can choose that in any way you would like go ahead and just give them that specific card and everybody is going to get resource cards and you're going to go ahead and deal out seven resource cards and let's let me just go ahead and show you a four player game so everybody gets three and then four Four, five, six, and seven. The rest of these are going to go into a singular, just put them on the singular deck, or you can set them aside if people are really far away. The Supreme Decider will not be using their resources while they are the Supreme Decider, but everybody else will. Okay, so now the Supreme Decider is going to go ahead and take one wild card, an opponent, and a location, and reveal them. This event is going to happen in Dracula's Castle, and the opponent is Al Capone, and his best goons during a 10.0 earthquake. Wow, that is really dangerous, especially if you're on the top floor. So now the Supreme Decider is going to decide which resource is best going to be used to survive the scenario, and each opponent or player is going to go ahead and select what they want to use. So there's the invisibility cloak, you got an isolation chamber, maybe persuasiveness, an extension ladder, an exorcist, feminist, and gang members. So you go ahead and select which one you want. This player might choose immortality. That's a very useful uh, way to exist. How about uh, hmm, opening a portal to another dimension? That probably would help. And then we'll go ahead and have this guy select an invisibility cloak to avoid Al Capone's men, in which case everybody's going to select one of these cards and place them face down so that nobody knows uh, who's put what down, especially the Supreme Decider. In which case the Supreme Decider is going to then take all the cards and shuffle them up so that they are random. After that happens, you're going to go ahead and flip over the cards, and the Supreme Decider is going to deduce which one of these resources is best going to help you survive the specific scenario. Everybody else is going to help by arguing the point of each of the different cards. You can help argue the point of your card or somebody else's card, or maybe just kind of have some kind of debate over what would make the most sense in this specific scenario. Immortality is going to help you against the Earthquake and the Goons. Uh, an Invisibility Cloak is going to protect you against the Goons, but maybe the Earthquake might not help. And then opening a portal to a different dimension, just I'll let you escape completely so hmm, which one would the supreme decider choose and let's go ahead and say that they chose opening a portal to a different dimension in which case as i'm as including a different dimension but you're basically going to be able to socially deduce what cards are and kind of give them even more meaning if you'd like to these cards are all going to go the person who chose opening a portal which we'll just go ahead and say is this player here which no it was this guy here is going to take the opponent card which is going to score them one victory point the rest of these cards are going to go and everybody that plays 
play to resource is going to draw a new one. Then after that, the next player in line in a clockwise order is going to be the new Supreme Decider, in which case everybody else is going to try again. And it's going to go to the next round here. A uh, rope bridge is the location. The opponent is a no-nonsense nuns. And the wild is you are mute. So you can't talk and you have to deal with no-nonsense nuns on a rope bridge. And everybody's going to once again go ahead and select cards. It'll whether it be ability to teleport, my bank account, supersonic blast, a wooden spoon. <laughs> That's funny for nuns. We'll go ahead and select the wooden spoon. And then uh, let's see what this guy wants to do. Maybe, how about, ooh, a ra a Viagra? I don't know about that. Unsusceptibility? Hmm, how about a lawsuit? Maybe you need to give these guys a lawsuit. And then over here, mm, renegade superpowers, renegade, re regenerative powers, therapists, maybe therapists for the nuns, that might help. And then all these get shuffled here. And the Supreme Decider is going to once again have to deduce which one of these resources will best help you exist in the scenario. In this case, maybe they would select Wooden Spoon because nuns use spoons to beat people. So in this case, or you know, you use them during the school. If you're in, in the Catholic school, the nuns would do that. Or a lawsuit to stop the nuns from being mean. And then therapists, which will help them with maybe their anger problems. Who knows, right? So then the Supreme Leader will once again, or Supreme Decider, will then once again choose. And the player who was successful in placing a resource will gather the uh the opponent card and these get discarded everybody takes new ones and i think you get the idea of the game this one will pass and you'll keep going up until the point where somebody is going to get five of these opponent cards when somebody gets five of these guys here that will trigger the end of the game and that person is going to win however you can go ahead and play with more of these or less of these and you can obviously play with more players if you'd like i think the game says up to 10 plus so i guess you can play with even more but probably 10 would be the sufficient number in which you want to play there is a whole bunch of different locations we'll go and show you a couple of those international space station hair salon medieval torture chambers a hospital er a zoo area 51 the amazon jungle opponents range from a hard of hearing Hobgoblin or brain leeches, stealth scorpions, uh, a misunderstood Mako shark, invisible man, the planet sized asteroid, wilds, wildfile. You have the hiccups, an F5 tornado, the rapture, flash floods, the quieter, the better, and you are Amish. So, a bunch of different ways in which the scenarios can hap ha happen, stance. Uh, so, also, because there are always going to be three of these different decks and three cards coming out, it's going to be a very, very different scenario every time. It's going to be very unlikely to ever get the same scenario more than once. And there's always going to be some more imaginative arguments based on who's playing and whose resource cards are whose. Anyway, that's the basic idea of the game exists. Let's go ahead and see if you exist by talking about the review. So what do I think about the game exists? Well, first of all, this is a judging game similar to Apples to Apples and Cards Against Humanity and quite a few others I have reviewed in the past past with some changes and one is of course that there's going to be three decks you're going to be utilizing as the supreme decider you get the location deck your opponent deck and of course the wild deck all of these are going to have different combinations of card based on the way you're going to be playing and shuffling them and dealing them out so it's very very unlikely you're going to have the, the same scenario whereas a lot of the other games are going to have simply one card that is going to be used to make the deciding factor where it says like what is the hairiest or what is the uh uh, most beautiful, in which case they just play the cards. But in this one specifically, it's going to be like, oh, you're going to have to have amnesia while uh, bill collectors are in the Bermuda Triangle with you. And so you have to come up with some kind of uh, resource to sort of get yourself out of that scenario. But you're going to be having the, the, the Supreme Decider select. And the Supreme Decider kind of gets to decide however they want, based on whatever criteria. Maybe it's funny, maybe it's more factual, maybe it's somewhere in between. But nevertheless, it has that judging aspect. For those of you who like judging games this is a solid choice as for the fact that it has an interesting uh, different type of theme as well you have to try and exist in a specific scenario utilizing resources that help in some and don't help in others and are oftentimes pretty funny uh personally the way i like to play this specific game is actually every single player is going to have their resources and they'll be able to use maybe one or two playing them in front of themselves face up and then explaining to the supreme decider why they would survive in the specific scenario with these specific resources 
And because that gives more of a, this is me specifically, and I have this, which makes me much more likely to survive. And of course, certain people are going to be better with certain resources than others. So I guess this would be a variant of play. The other way is just fine, and it's a solid way of playing the game. And if you like judging games, that's a cool way of doing it. But I personally prefer being able to explain why, which has this kind of feel of snake oil, where you're actually having to, if you've played snake oil, you're going to be utilizing cards from a deck and explaining what makes your best contraptions. But in this case, you're going to be explaining why you would specifically survive with these specific resources. I think the game is solid right down the line. And for those who like judging games, you're not going to be upset about this specific one. The maturity level says 17 plus, but most of the cards I would say are, are pretty, pretty, uh, Un, like, uh, un risque, in which case you're going to be able to play this game with probably, I would say, 14 year olds. Now, there might be some cards that I somehow didn't see. I mean, there's like Fiery Poop, which, you know, it's not really that bad, but this is Loaded Bong. So, uh, you know, some of them are a little bit more than others, but for the most part, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty okay as far as the 18, 17 and up. You could probably dial it down a little bit. Just depends on, I guess, how mature your kids are. But nevertheless, that's the basic idea of the game. There's quite a few variants you can kind of make up on your own and I like the different combinations of cards that you can utilize. It allows you not to buy constantly more and more and more cards because the different combinations of the three opponent wild and locations is going to give you a large amount of replayability. The card quality is very nice and uh, it's going to last you quite a while. Some of these games have less card and less higher qu card quality. I'm not sure if this is the full extent of it but otherwise I'm satisfied with all, all the components. I like the box to be a little bit better. I like the tuck boxes as well so it all fits back nice and neatly in the box with the three different decks and based on how big of a game you want to play is how many you can kind of pull out overall exists as a solid judging game and if you like judging games this is one you should definitely take a look at as well as trying my variant for the game as well exists will you by the end of this game